Okay, welcome everyone. Let's will start our lesson two. Today lesson will go through a lot of learning outcome two, which is about understand the nature and the importance of internal control. My name is Anjum Sathar and my email address Anjum at university dot co dot uk. If you have any question, drop me email, please. So let's will start today lesson. Uh, before starting, always good to be reflect. You know, grant your knowledge about internal control and assurance. How much we know about internal control and assurance? Just spend two three minutes, please. Reflect, right? grant your knowledge about internal control and assurance. Okay, next we looking the indicative content what we supposed to be learn the component of internal control for both computerized and manual system with the consideration for the control environment preventative and defective control and internal audit assurance risk component of risk model of inherent risk control risk deduction risk and legal responsibility and liability. So method of minimizing the risk, audit engagement, exercising professional judgment. That's all which we'll go through today lesson. So let's please we'll start in a minute. Okay, so next we look how many we have. We have these are all assessment criteria which we'll go through. 2.1 is identify the needs of organization, effective uh, system of controls. Effective system of control is very crucial. Discuss the needs and the main area of business need effective control. Component of internal control in both manual and computerized environment. Explain how internal control are evaluated and conclusion. And analyze how internal control mitigate the risk. So that's all we'll go through today in our discussion. So what is the internal control? Is the process design, implement, and maintain those charged with the governance management and other personnel to provide reasonable assurance about achievement of entity objective with regard to the reliability of the financial reporting effectiveness and efficiency of operation compliance with the applicable laws and regulation so what are the component of internal control control environment risk assessment and the information systems control control activities relevant controls so not all the control are relevant audit risk assessment the details primary concern with those part of the management risk with give in material misstatement in the financial statements <clears throat> okay so that's you know which is the component of internal control IES 15 state international audit standard state that the details need to be understand the entity's internal control to assist process is identify the five component of internal control the the control environment entity risk assessment info information system control activity monitoring control so the control environment indicate the governance the management function of organization we need to be focused on the communication and enforcement integrity and ethics integrity mean honesty ethical value those are in place in organization commitment to the competencies competence because you know audit should be identified the risk internal control to should explore is always need to be and try to be minimize the risk participation by those charged with the governance management philosophies and operating styles organization structure assignment of authorities and responsibilities 
and human resource policies and practices. Okay, internal control, control environment, attitudes, awareness of action of management, communication and enforcement of integrity and ethical, commitment to the completeness, participation by those charged with the governance, management philosophies, operating organization structure, assignment of authority, responsibility, these are, and the risk assessment we need to be the process of identifying and reporting business risk. Risk is meant by the probability of happening something. Risk is can be positive, risk can be negative. So risk is not always negative. Risk can lead to the higher return as well. So in business, we normally say the higher the beta, higher the risk factor, higher the return. So reporting properly, operating properly and keeping in laws so that's you know the crucial element in okay next we're looking internal control information system we need to look around the consist of the infrastructure software people procedures data the IES is information system relevant to FR financial reporting activities initiatives records, processes, and report transactions, control activities, policies, and procedures and ensure that management directive are carried out, performance review, information processing, physical control, and segregation of detail. Monitoring control, a process of assess the qualities of internal control, performance over time, operating as intended and modified as appropriate an internal audit function may be performed this so that's we need to be well aware of in our organization to increase and reduce the risk okay so what is internal controls further we can look around it's the sectory requirement which is by law the director of the company required by law to keep the record disclosure with the reasonable accuracy affairs of the companies at need stated time. A detail assess whether the system allow the director to carry out duties. Then work through testing is involved a detail tracing one or more transaction through the system and observing the application of the control on the transaction. A detail is certain that the system from the previous year notes and the discussion with the management staff however is a vital ensure the system operate as been stated so walk through test is undertaken controlled risk assessment when the system has been walked through the editor can make assessment on the control risk uh, which we look you know further in uh, order trace and contest of control which we can use to perform when the risk assessment include the expectation of operating effectiveness, control when substantial pr procedures along are insufficient. So test of control may be include the inquiries about and observation of the control activity, inspection document supporting controls, examination of evidence management review, uh, re-performance of control to ensure they were correctly performed. Test of control, operating other computer application. <clears throat> okay, if the risk assessment has shown the control to be ineffective, the testing will not be undertaking and may also be insufficient to test of controls. <clears throat> so if the publication, if the population consists of few large items, which cannot be tested quickly by the substantive test. So when the control testing is completed, a detail make final assessment of control risk, revise the nature, timing, and substantial procedures. A detail should consider how the control were applied, how consistent they were applied, and by whom. The control testing is often completed in term audit. 
So a liter should be combined in query with another types of procedure of test of control. Okay, so control activities, revenue controls objective, link back to the risk. So ordering and granting credit, we can look around the sales made, good credit, and all you know these system we need to be look around the control are in place or not dispatch of invoices so all the dispatch of invoices invoice is correct and goods are supplied credit notes are given as valid reasons and recording accounting credit transaction are recorded the correct you know account and the correct period and recoverable that identified. So internal control, ordering, granting credit, segregation of DT, authorization, uh, sequential numbers, printed correct copies, and the match orders. So test of control reference, authorization, credit limits, these can be used. Okay, control, internal control, authorization of dispatch, examination, recording of the goods matching dispatch sequential signatures authorization of price and arithmetical arithmetical checks you know on this accounting records we need to look around the credit credit segregation record sequence match cash and receipt invoices retention customer preparation and checking reviewing and chase you know and reconciliation test of control verify the details of the sale invoices when dispatch note test numerical sequence record inquiry about the gaps so verify invoices check entries in the day book so all this we need to look around good receive we can look around examine the goods inward compare the notes and then we can look around the reference supplier invoice that's you know which can be look you know because that's these are the internal control is crucial anybody any question guys if you have you can ask uh, or if you're listening this recording you can drop me email internal controls can be on the good received so we can examine all these check you know the supplier invoices we can look around the record of the good return and the procedure in place for obtain the credit note accounting segregation of duties prompt recording in the day book comparison of the supplier statement authorization of payment review reconciliation and procedures so test of control check invoices are supported by GRN price good receipt notes GRN so we can look around the stock maths correct also check the numerical sequence check the purchase day book check the entry to the ledges and check the control account and reconcile no unusual entries huh? so that's we need to be uh, look around to be make sure the procedures and internal controls work effectively then the control next we can look around the control for the cash if you want to be all the money received or bank recorded and the safeguard again the lost of the theft you know those are in locker in the sign all the pocket packets you know so where the cash kept so all the payment are authorized made out the correct you know pays and recorded and the payment are not made twice for the same liability internal control receipt segregation of dt safeguard at the post opening post stem with the date of receipt restrictions on the receipt of the cash agreement the cash collection prompt maintenance giving and recording the receipt test of control observe post opening trace entries listen uh, listing the cash book and paying in the book you know the bank statement so that's you know other area we need to look around and verify details okay control can be for internal control the banking daily banking banking of the receipt restriction of opening new bank account limitation on the cash flow we surprise cash counts and the custody of the cash and check 
make any payment check yes restrictions we can authorization from dispatch payment record cash payments limit on the disbursement is all we need to be make sure we have a clearly control test of control check the cash receipt from the cash book paying in the slip yes all these you know the factor we can keep in mind to be make sure our control system is properly in place in during internal control okay <clears throat> because these control in the different area different section can be applied like in the cash in the banking in the receipt so here next we looking uh inventory inventory system and control recording all the inventory movement recorded and authorized all the inventory record is owned by the company inventory recorded exists inventory quantities recorded are correct cut off procedures yes the period is holding the inventory uh, level of inventories are held are the reasonable is it not too high too little is it just in time inventory procedures applied or not so we can ask you know the question the needs of the business and the inventories so uh, protection safeguards again the lost and the theft would safeguard we have those are inventory high value inventory are kept on locker 3% or 2% need to be signed it or is it just 1% and who is the actually and the, how we can issue the inventory huh? how often we do the inventory evaluations all you know the costing system value the inventories correctly allowance made you know the slow moving and obsolete inventories and the test of control check you know the inventories count ensure the discrepancies are investigated and authorized and corrected so inventory count so which we can go through in the further okay so control of inventories uh, uh and the control activities we can look around protection so precautions again the theft precautions again the deterioration uh we can look around the valuation appropriate inventory holding and various test of control you know so sample inventory record check the sequence of inventory observe the security and that's you know which we can look around to be <clears throat> then uh, we can look around the payroll system control implies only paid authorized internal control in segregation of duty authorization recording any changes custody of the cash maintenance salary reconciliation account re recording the payroll and reconciliation of deduction surprise cash count so these are crucial things for internal control internal con control it is vital to check all the aspect of the payrolls and deductions attend the cash payouts ensure and check the pay so all you know we need to be make sure those are appropriate you know okay this is the uh, control of non current asset non current asset addition non current asset kept securely non current asset registered yes internal authorization for purchase non current asset maintain and review assets inspected regularly budgeted to purchase and sales and depreciation and seeking evidence of authorization review the registered observe the reconciliation of the asset inspection and inspect budget and plan all this is for so then we can look around the acca map uh, for internal control we can look around the authorization expenses claim purchase those were authorized computer control password backups viruses and all comparison yes compare comparing budget versus actual yes the variance identify and try to rectify and automatical control recalculating hours maintain and review the control accounts uh, account reconciliations physical control looking mechanism and cctvs and segregation of dt those are crucial as well you know can anybody any question okay next assurance engagement assurance engagement is the in which the practitioner which is account and express 
a conclusion designed to enhance the degree of confidence of the intended user other than the responsible parties about the outcome evaluation and the measurement of the subject matter against the criteria so in case of audit so this definition work in the practice like a practitioner auditor the intended user owner uh, responsible parties manage subject matters opinion on the financial statements and criteria accounting standards and the legal requirements inherent limitation subject judgment by directors yes the directors not only give the information to auditors and possible ability of the fraud has been concealed and simply so reasonable assurance is a high limited assurance is the lower level of assurance and the editor can never give us absolute assurance that's you know is a, then understanding the entity environment is very crucial when we do audit because the entity environment if we don't understand we can't be do audit so that's why the your commercial awareness as a detail is very important so which industry you want to do audit why you want to do audit when you want to do audit what sort of you know the procedures who is the watchdog what are the criteria of that the benchmark of the industry so then you can you know because the details need to be understand it's not just jump in if you will do audit in the oil industry you not a explore about the oil exploring or deducting our oil value so is very difficult for all you just rely on the paper no you need to be fully aware of okay so audit <coughs> audit risk risk is that the details state in the financial statement are fairly presented when inherent risk uh, the risk okay risk that the the risk of the item will be misstated their nature and control risk the risk of entity internal control will not be prevent and deduct and correct it and deduction risk the risk you know that the editor will not de deduct you know and the misstatement that exists so in audit risk it's lead to the risk of material misstatement that's a huge it can be inherently or it can be control or then we have a deduction risk is because we not really manage as a editor to deduct welcome any question Hello, morning. Okay, so we need to find the risk and types of risk. You know, those are the crucial for uh, to run the business. Okay, then materiality. Material mean anything which is a significant, and we need to be always the detail need to be look around. So materiality is the measure how the important the item and the issues and the related the financial statement as a whole to be individual. A detail must consider the materiality and the performance of materiality when determine the nature, time, and the extent of audit procedure. So assessing the materiality will help the details what and how many items uh, to test, whether the use of sampling techniques. level of misstatement leads to the moderation modification and opinion and then it may be material due to the relative size their nature and effect all this we need to be keep in mind to make our business more effective okay risk uh, significant risk uh, required specific audit consideration relevant parties transaction fraud risk indicator of fraud is <clears throat> the management uh, management incentivized is there opportunities or the rationalization of for the fraud and unusual transaction the editor must discuss the respectability of the financial statement if they such you know indicators identify editor must evaluate relevant carried out extra procedures document finding and reports 
and consider the impacts. All these need to be fully aware of. Okay, then guys, you know, I copy the link for you, a uh, background reading, make sure please, you know, before our next lesson, if we can read, it will be great. So we can uh, go through. And if you have any question, please, you can ask as well. So today lesson, we quickly can a bit, you know, so we discuss about uh, these all. We discuss internal control. We discuss internal control system, IES 315. And we discuss various internal control payrolls. We discuss test of control, revenues, purchase, uh, banking, payroll. So these are all the controls. We discuss known current asset. Uh, we learn about ACCA maps, you know, which is internal control uh, abbreviation. Yes, that's, you know, we discuss about assurance, uh, organization environment, audit risk, uh, in, inherent risk, control risk, deduction risk. All we discuss these and substantial procedures, you know, those we can use. Materiality, we discuss significant of race and for the reading please for you to be need to be before next lesson if you have any question please feel free to drop me email anjum at ukversity.co.uk hello can you hear me hello hello yes welcome hi good morning morning i think so you joined quite late huh any question please uh, for now, I don't have. Did just just start, right? Uh, yes, we we finish this, you know, lesson. I record it, but if you have a question, you can ask. We discuss about internal control. What is meant by yes, internal audit types of internal control. Uh, we went through and discuss about various controls such as. We discuss about inventory control. We, you will see here, invent, we discuss purchase control first. Then we discuss about internal control for cash, inventory control, how we can control inventory, all the processes we went through. And we discuss about the internal control for known current asset, which is mean fixed asset. We discuss about how we can control authorization. We need to check, you know, who is authorizing computer control software, uh, comparison, we can look around budgeted versus actual, arithmetical, we can look around, you know, arithmetical control, we can may look around the numbers, yes, timesheets, you know, if the timesheet been signed, actually the workers work, how many hours for suppose, you know, the maintenance and review control, we, uh, account reconciliation, we need to be, bank reconciliation, sale ledger, subsidiary ledger, Physical control, we can make sure assets are fully controlled if nobody really steal it. Segregation of duties, not one person sign everything, one person is raising purchase order, same person is making the payment, and same person is choosing the supplier. So that's not a proper segregation. It should be different person, and that will help you know to detect the fraud. So all we discuss these in our discussion. And uh, then we learn about assurance, why the assurance, assurance help, you know, increase the editor never give the obsolete assurance, but editor give the limited or reasonable assurance. These statements are providing true and fair information and not telling the lie and fall. If those are correct in terms of the law in the compliance side. Uh, we discuss entity environment is crucial to be understand which sector you're doing audit. And audit risk, we discuss audit risk, inherent risk, control risk, and deduction risk. So audit risk is that the editor state in the financial statement and fairly presented when they are, are not an inherent, which is inherently can be in the control risk makeup due to the control system not properly and deduction risk, we may be the editor not deduct those risks, it can be itself is a risk. So these risks we discuss what set uh, test of control and substantial procedures we can use. We discuss about materiality. Always we need to be measure it is how significant those risks are and seek the fraud and our objective as a as a detail to provide true and fair information. And uh, for the reading is a link here before next lesson. Please go through and go through recording. If you have any question, you can drop me email and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. 
Thanks for listening and attending, and I hope so I'll speak to you during our next lesson.